What's happening, Priceline Nation? It's Mike and Ben here. December 20th of 2019, we waited, waited till almost the last moment to do this. Our brand of the year supplement. Sports supplement, you know, nutrition industry brand of the year. A lot of people have big years this year. Yeah, well, I was, I, I've, been digging, I've, been dig, yeah, I've been digging through the price plow on our brand pages. You can kind of filter like between our blog posts, videos, new products, and looking at new products. I'm kind of looking at what we saw come out this year in terms of products, yeah. and then we could also talk about the messages and the yeah. different you know things that that different companies are trying to do. And I realized that not many companies actually came out with that many new entirely new products there's a lot yeah. of skews created a lot of flavors a lot so of this flavors uh single ingredients we saw uh reformulations mm -hmm. but not a lot of like brand new stuff and also not a lot of <clears throat> like new and innovative new stuff right right like, if you just come out with another pre-workout that's the same formula as everything else out there i'm i personally not counting that as like Right, a new 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 skew out there. So, uh, but there were that, that whittles it down to a few good companies. Right, and, and and full disclaimer: these are all companies that we have business relationships with, and affiliate codes, and coupon codes, and everything like mm -hmm. that. But uh, in, in general, I will say that we're going to make another video. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram because. We're gonna. I, 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 I they're thinking that there weren't enough like new products. That, there weren't a whole lot of new ingredients, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have another video about new ingredients to look for in 2020. I think this year was kind of a stabilizing year in terms of like the brand new products, mm -hmm. and I think 2020 is gonna be a little bit more exciting in a different way. So, yeah. in, in the for the the research junkie and ingredient nerd to me, it's gonna be more exciting for that. And I think we're gonna see a lot more new products in general. So I'm like going through these these brands, and a lot of the contenders we have here are Redcom One, mm -hmm. Nutribio, Ghost. Uh, I have the Alpha Lion tab up, but I'm gonna quickly just kind of discredit you know, and knock them out of the running because they're kind of doing a whole changeover. And I think, yeah. like you were saying, 2020. This was a year for them that they're building and they're learning themselves. You know, when we talked to Jordan a lot, he was talking about building out the team, mm -hmm. getting the right people in-house and, well, not in-house because he's down in Columbia, but getting the right people behind the passion. And uh, they made great, great moves, but like, like Superhuman Supreme took our number one hardcore pre-workout spot. Mm -hmm that's not really going to be a thing anymore at, uh, on as large of a scale. You know, it's going to be yes, more right. in, in some ways. So I can't really give them brand of the year because that momentum is not following into 2020. Right. I think 2020 yeah. is going to be uh, a great year for them and mm -hmm. they can possibly be in there. Um, they have to have an honorable mention here because they killed a lot of stuff. <laughs> They're on, on so multiple top lists for us. Yeah. I mean, they impressed us a lot and starting out the year, I didn't even know who they were. Mm -hmm. That's a huge deal for me. Right. I mean, so for that, as, as someone who considers, like, I, I've considered myself a bit of a watchdog in the industry, mm -hmm. see, watching everything, I didn't even know who they were, and all of a sudden, I'm using their pre workout twice a week. That's that, that's breakout, in my opinion. But that's not brand of the year, it's breakout brand of the year. So maybe they're they're up there for that. Yeah, I would give that, I mean, they had an impressive year. Mm -hmm. I might give them breakout brand of the year. Um, but. And then, yeah, and then finally, yeah. I have, we just started, uh, started doing a lot more work with our Plow 40 coupon code on my protein. But my data is a little bit more shaky in there because we really started tracking them hardcore. They started coming out with a lot of new stuff in the second half of the year, which yeah. made up for some of the, of the brands that are doing stuff in the front half of the year. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, I don't know if my protein did enough uh, throughout the whole year because they went through this huge major rebrand and now they're hitting yep. US hard. But the British are coming. They are coming, and there's like USN's coming, and that's uh, the South Africans right there. Yeah. Everyone's coming, but it's like that was a late siege in the end of the year. So I'm looking for someone who's like sustained momentum all. All throughout the year and finally there's new tracks and that was a company who actually did that they banged it out right off the bat they started with a blood orange mm -hmm. flavor of the outlift formula and then um it was and then, quiet like and they, then, they were just like releasing releasing putting in the work right. stuff like that but uh, as we know going into 2020 there are going to be some big changes for new tracks yeah. so mm -hmm. um you got to give them props for everything they did but I think 2020 is a better year to be looking at for them. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, they've honed themselves for 2020. They've decided who and what they are going to be because Nutrix has moved around from a hardcore bodybuilding company to a fat loss company. Um, they just released a keto product, which was a lot different for them. Right. Yeah. But, a couple of keto products. Yeah. Actually. I mean, I, identity crisis has a bad, really bad connotation to no. it. I don't want to say that, but they've definitely bounced around to a bunch of different categories and uh, I think that it sounds like behind the scenes 2020, they know exactly what they're coming for and I'm excited yeah, for that. Right, definitely. Especially, 
I don't consider myself keto because I'm usually my ketones aren't over like 0.5. I'm not technically in ketosis, but I am definitely very ketone driven. I think branding it as low carb, ultra low carb kind of aggression because they still got that volume grow, that dextrose based post workout for post workout. That's where I like. So I think they got to work the balance there. And you don't want to go full on to this keto thing because no. I, I don't think keto is a fad. I think the word keto might be a fad. So the, I, I mean, mean the, the, the fat product. I don't see it as just a keto product. Like okay. I personally, I, love that stuff. Yeah. I pump my my fats pre workout. It makes me feel real strong. Mm -hmm. I would use that product. It's got 50 milligrams of caffeine, some carnitine, and fat pre workout. And it's the good MCT that make, doesn't make you go to the bathroom. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. I got to make that video. Yeah, and I wouldn't consider myself keto. So, but mm -hmm. I would absolutely use their volume grow post workout with the dextrose. And, and yeah, carnitine right. And you can do both. So yeah, there is, I, I, we're excited to see what Nutrex does with that. So in general, like what I'm seeing is the the, the companies are banging it out. Mostly through the year, you got Redcon One, you got Ghost, you got Nutribio. Nutribio put out a new SKU every, and they're our top sponsor. They put out a new SKU every single week, I every Friday. More than that actually, I yeah, went to Mark. He said 87 SKUs, which is yeah, way more than the, 52. Right for the first half of the year, every week, there's something going yeah. on, something to blog about, something to make a video about. And sometimes it was just a new flavor, but there were a lot of new products were being created as well. Yes. Most notably, way early in the year, Alpha EAA, yeah. which I'm obviously very, very excited about. I love mm -hmm. using it. I love the feeling you get from it. I love to train with it. It's an amino acid that brings in tropics, adaptogens, and a double cooling blend. It's just, it's just like, it feels good. It yeah. feels without having stimulants, it's about as close to being, it's like it's close to perfect of a stem free kind of product that yeah. I like for what I'm, what I'm feeling. So that was like, that stole a lot of the thunder. Yeah. I, I, I obviously have to be transparent that I was heavily involved in that product being made, but he worked there. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I had I, a lot of my ideas were put into that, but I personally think it was uh, the right time for the right product. I mean, mm -hmm. new tropics were starting to come up in the late 2000, uh, 18, so that's mm -hmm. when I started coming up with the idea. Mm -hmm. And everyone was taking EAAs all day long, mm -hmm. so what better to put together something that can help you out with work, workouts, studying, anything like that, as well as essential amino acids to keep you recovering. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, that that was one of their hottest products for the year, mm -hmm. but on the other end, they also had a lot of just flavor redos. Right. A lot of single ingredient, like alpha GPC in a capsule, right. mm -hmm. uh, or like, a new Yohimbi, yeah. a fixed up Yohimbi. You have the, the new flavor system, Dragon Fruit. I love Dragon Fruit. I love Strawberry yeah. Lemon Bomb. But uh, I think they did something that no one else did in terms of SKUs. Mm -hmm. Calf Plus. Yeah, Calf Plus was a huge one. Yeah, natural. However, I have to also say not all of the launches were heavy hitters. Like they, they brought themselves into 2019 caught up with everyone in terms of quality of flavors, did something that yeah. Nutribio has definitely never done before in terms of quality of flavors. Mm -hmm. And I think that they're posed for 2020 to like really blow the doors off. Right. With Eric Schwartz in. Dude. A lot of cool Eric. stuff coming out. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, especially talking about ethics they announced, mm -hmm. there's a lot of, I think there are going to be some heavy hitter products coming out. Um, so we, I, I, but I personally, I have to give them tons of props for Alpha EAA. Yes, that was the, that was the grand slam. But I don't think we can give them brand of the year based on pure skews. Right. For for brand of the one last thing we didn't mention was absorb. I like how they're pushing the estrogen <clears throat> by operin, by operin, um, moving that forward and everything. But I uh, I don't know if you deserve brand of the year for fixing flavors like that. Right. Alpha EA absorb. You have a grand slam and a home run over there. I like to take absorb uh, in my pre my like multivitamin stack yep. and then my pre bed stack and everything. But I still think um, we might need a little bit more. And I think ethics might, if, we allow, if we're allowed to put ethics into the Nutribio thing for 2020, then that's going to stop yeah, struggle for it's people. A, I, mean, I, think we're, I think we're calling it a sub brand for them. So I think mm -hmm. we can attribute it to them. Um, Curcumin Advance is another big Dude, one. It's not see, just, yeah. it's like, that's like, why I have them close. There's a lot of good stuff in there in the noise of like a lot of new flavor. Yeah. I there. would say like, if I'd say like if 50% of the flavor reworks and single ingredients were actually new SKUs, I think they'd have oh, a yeah. brand of the year. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, when you're taking like a branded uh, ingredient, putting it in a capsule, mm -hmm. I, I, like, I just per like I love it because it's available from Nutribio. I know it's pure. Uh -huh. I know it's manufactured well. I know there's no excipients, but it's not the same as Alpha G. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, Alpha EAA. Mm -hmm. So very, very, very close to the top, but can't give it to them. Uh, Redcon. Now, yeah. Now let's talk about Redcon One. Here's what I didn't notice though. 
And Ghost is gonna be similar to this, not a ton of brand new products. So I, if I, I got to do a search for like was created here. Yeah. You had Bar, February 20th, and then you had Green Beret mm -hmm. on April 12th, 11 Bravo, May 31st, and then no new products after that. Right. And so Ghost isn't gonna be much different. The, the, a lot of the year was spent with like fun, a lot of fun Total War, yeah. uh, Total War flavors, a lot of MRE light flavors, new bar flavors, a lot of new flavors. And then a couple grunt ones, more Total War, Total War, Total War, you got White Walker, you got all this stuff. Yeah. And uh, I think Red Con One has had more powerhouse years than, yes. than this one. This oh, wasn't, sure. obviously they're doing awesome. Like, was, I they're, think they're, they're the elephant in the room. And any conversation we have, Mm -hmm. Redcom One and Ghost are the two companies that come up like, well, we're not planning to be the next Redcom One, but it's like, I, you know how many times I've heard that you have phrase? To say that, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, I get it, dude. But at the same time, uh, I, I, from a company that massive, I think I would expect one more powerhouse skew at the right. end of the year. I, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I think this year was was uh, like a fine tuning year for yes, Redcon. That's Their a good distribution. Thing. I uh, we heard from Bodybuilding.com that they really fine tuned bodybuilding. Their their percentage mm -hmm. up there. I'm not going to share it, but it was very good oh, in terms of uh, uh, like they took like like the, the White Walker Total War, the Miami Vice Total War. They they had certain strategic extra flavors that were put yeah. out. Olympia you know, Fireball was yeah. a hit. I saw that keep selling out. There was also the Hobgoblin Goblin Goblin, yeah. whatever that was. I, so I, they did some cool little things, extra little. Uh, additions but nothing heavy mm -hmm. I mean 11 Bravo was cool but no, nothing nothing huge mm -hmm. uh, we did hear about MRE light um, RTD in 2020 which I think that that will be a very interesting endeavor for them moving into the RTD department yeah uh, it's tough to get right so and they they aren't gonna release it if it's wrong so no, absolutely be, mm -hmm. so they did a good job but they didn't have any heavy hitters so I, I, I like that's for, right off the bat for me I can't give it to them uh, which leaves us with Ghost. All right, so Ghost is the other brand that a lot of companies, they don't, like Redcom 1, we're not gonna be the next Redcom 1. A lot of people are like, now they're not saying we're gonna be the next Ghost, but they're like, they're copying. There's, there's a lot dude, of, it's, There's yeah. a lot of copycatting going on, and Ghost is the yeah. brand that is being copied. This was, for me, this was the year where I finally figured it out, how far ahead of the curve Dan and Ryan have been and still are on every single mm. front, whether it's the marketing stuff, the collaboration stuff, the distribution control stuff, the formulations have always been there. So like, this is the year, so I don't know, for me, it's a little different because this year it finally clicked. I was like, oh my God. I'm like talking to people on Twitter about other business things. I'm like, no, actually you should look at this company Ghost mm -hmm. in this industry over here. That's what you should be doing over there. Right. And people are like, they don't get it. And I'm like, oh my God, I didn't get it three years ago. I finally do get it. Product wise though, at the same time, Ghost Burn, which is like a very, very good product. That was a big major skew. And Ghost Amino was, Amino V2, that's kind of a new one that came out too. That Original was Amino was a great EAA product and they were ahead of the curve on that one. Yeah. Absolutely. They actually were one of the first companies with efficacious doses of mm -hmm. all essential amino acids. So we have to give them props on that. Come back this year and make it even better. Mm -hmm. I mean, the huge methionine dose in there. Yeah. Like key doses in there that like you don't see in other trendy companies. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that we have to keep coming back to with Ghost is that they are one of the trendiest, coolest, like just mainstream companies that like if you're not paying attention to ingredient quality or efficacy or whatever, mm -hmm. They're still really high quality. Right. The nerds can geek out over it. Formulate for that one percent, but. Yeah, branded or marketed for the for everyone else. Yeah, and I think that what they did this year was come out and set a standard for everyone. Mm -hmm. When was the first vegan protein? Do you know? We first scooped that up on August twenty second of so twenty eighteen. Okay, okay. So that was, but they they had a few launches of that this year as well. That was huge. Right. The burn flavors. The biggest the biggest thing is the flavor collabs. Right. And the pushing of the marketing message beyond. Sports nutrition. They set the standard in a lot of different areas this mm -hmm. year. It came down to like the first protein authentic flavor collab. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys might be tired of hearing me talk about Chips Ahoy. I am obsessed <laughs> with it and I don't even care. It was awesome mm -hmm. and it made me chew my protein, which was the, just so different. The, the experience that they offer to their consumers mm -hmm. is just still, no matter how many people come out and copy them, is unlike anyone else is doing in the industry. Uh, mm -hmm. Between the behind the brand type look, they, they give you all the numbers, all the information they're doing behind the scenes, as well as <clears throat> the experience they offer the consumer, mm -hmm. the flavors. Um, they had what? 
red berry, strawberry daiquiri, Dude, grapefruit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and most notable, I mean, I can't say most notable because everything they do is, this year was pretty big. Christian Guzman, V3. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, I forgot about that. I would consider that a new skew. That's not listed on this page because it's not in stock. It's Ooh. But it's also, it's a legend, yeah. but I consider that a new skew because it was a different fl uh, formula. It's pretty yeah, different. Yeah, that formula. was an awesome formula. Sold too. out a that, yeah. certain amount that we're still not allowed to tell everyone. I think it's going to come out eventually, mm -hmm. but in what, 19 minutes? You weren't even able to get the... The, the listing up. No, uh, this, yeah. Right? yeah, like, you gotta, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, they're I think they're setting the standard for everyone. Like mm -hmm. if if you're gonna be this kind of monster in the industry, you gotta be ghost. Right, I agree. So looking at all the data that I'm seeing on the little price plot system, based upon products, I am my brand of the year based on products is Nutribio. Mm -hmm. Based on brand, the word brand, B R A N D, it's ghost. Yeah. Ghost has taught me how I want to move my personal brand even. My the price file brand, the whole the whole kingmaker of it all. Like I want to I Ghost has taught me so much about brand. And if a brand is able to get chips ahoy. Let's talk Nabisco junk food into a quality protein powder, protein leverage form factor. Mm -hmm. When Chips Ahoy said no, only moms buy that. If this crew of guys, Dan and Ryan can get them to do this. That's brand of the year to me because they have just expanded things beyond what a bunch of new products can do. I yeah. love Alpha EAA, but Alpha EAA isn't pushing the boundaries of the, it, it, it moves the boundaries inward. Like a lot of, you grab a lot of sports nutrition people with Alpha EAA. Right. Ghost, the way they're doing it, they're grabbing the rest of the world with mm -hmm. their with their brand and that's why it's brand of the year all these collabs are just nuts and watching how they have made taking supplements not a shady thing it wasn't shady but sometimes it is sometimes it isn't okay so so i got i got interrupted somewhere in there so i have to splice this in ghost has found a way to take this industry well beyond where it already was right no other brand I don't think has done that. I think what I have to say is like, if you want to come down and say straight numbers, Nutribio wins because they have the most SKUs possible. Yes. And I have to figure out how to put this the right way. The things that Nutribio did, Nutribio had to do for itself to bring it into the ready for 2020 and have the right SKUs. They discontinued a lot, brought in a lot of new ones. They are now like poised where all of their SKUs are active and in demand mm -hmm. and ready to really blow it up in 2020 with ethics, all their, all their ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. Ghosts on the other end, they could have come out with a product every week, but instead came out with strategic collabs, um, you know, their Max and, and Christian stuff, mm -hmm. their good Amino V2, their Burn, their new vegan proteins, and as a whole, the moves that they made were for the industry yeah. and not just themselves. I keep saying they legitimize yeah. so much of it. So the, I think what they're, the other col uh, flavor clubs in the industry that are happening, there are other mm -hmm. people doing these, right? We mm -hmm. saw Big League Chew, we're seeing Smarties, Icy, stuff like that. I don't think, and this is just my theory, I don't think that those things are would be possible yet if Ghost had an oh, no. of these, right? You know it's a that message it. out. Like it can work, it can be good because. Uh, how many times is Ghost's logo and Ghost what Ghost doing? How many times is that on someone else's PowerPoint presentation? Yeah, I, I bet I bet a lot. Yeah, and it's it, to show you guys how kind of important this is. When we talked to Dan about this, Dan told us like every time someone in this art, in our industry gets indicted. He gets a call from Mondelay and he's got to explain like what's going on in our industry. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Dude, yeah, he right? is a firewall in that way for, yeah, for a lot of us. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it sucks mm -hmm. because it's there bad. are so many bad eggs that make the, the, the good guys look bad, mm -hmm. right? Or taint our, our entire industry. So I have to give it to Ghost. If, mm -hmm. we want, if you want to play the numbers, I, yeah, I think Nutri wins quanti quantitatively, but all things considered, total industry being moved forward, quality of launches versus quantity, I think mm -hmm. Ghost actually picks this one up. Yeah. Now, segueing into, yeah, back to product a little bit. I, I agree, Ghost is, is the brand of the year, just based on the, this 
conversation generated here. I'm like more affirmed into that. Based on products, I do like Nutribio. There's another breakout brand we gotta mention, and that's the key uh, cue into the next video. Revive MD, mm -hmm. Revive Stops. Ghost being the brand of the year, but who, what brand has helped my health the most? Yeah. And for my health, between Curcumin and Advanced, now finally the Nutribio, fixing up the multivitamin, which makes me more excited to take the P5P, the P. and then, um, and then there was an Alpha EAA, and then I, we've seen how ashwagandha works for me and everything. Between them and Revive MD, those two companies, Nutribio and Revive MD, have been, I would say, biggest game changers for my personal health. Yeah. So there's bias there, but. I, I personally don't pick Revive in dietary supplements, uh, and it goes along with their, like, I, I don't think we've ever spoken about this, but Revive with their strategic partnerships and sponsorships. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't consider themselves a dietary supplement company. So like their athletes are able, like like Nick Walker is able to be sponsored by Condemned Labs mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. because the, he doesn't get a pre-workout from Revive. Ah, right, okay. I consider them health supplements, not dietary supplements. Yeah. I understand yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We're talking sports nutrition. Yeah, but I can't, you can't compare the two, mm -hmm. uh, in, in my opinion. I think you just can't yeah. put those together. Yeah, so, health-wise, I think nothing has been better yeah. for me than a couple of these things. So right there. Anyway, yeah, congratulations to Dan and Ryan and the team over at Ghost. You are our brand of the year. This is completely subjective. Yes, we've, we've stated there's already business relationships with all of them, but I really think in terms of the word brand, there's no one who's doing it better than them. And I don't think anyone is going to for quite a while. If you're copycatting, you're behind the ball. And yeah. that goes for us too, so. Yeah, I mean, I think we, we all take inspiration from different places. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan and Ryan take a lot of inspiration from uh, their, their music, uh, the shoes, the sneakers, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Other industries, and I think that's great. Um, but if you are stuck following other people, you're always gonna be following and in second place. Mm -hmm. If you are taking inspiration from the right places and creating your own brand, and that's what this is, brand of the year. Yeah. Ghost is unapologetically and authentically, genuinely Dan and Ryan. That's true. Yeah. And you can't copycat that. All right. Well, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. We'll probably have to cut this one in two videos and everything. Congrats again to Ghost. And uh, yeah, follow us because we have a few more of the years to go. So let's bust right into Breakout Brand and then Brands to Watch for 2020. Product. Brands to Watch for 2020. We've got some good ones there. Mm -hmm. And then Product of the Year. Cool. Welcome to Price Plow.